Hello, everybody. I wanted to take a moment and show you what Pixar.com is uh, about. Um, so this is an online photo editing program. Um, and if you have your own that you like that you use um, with some filters or whatever on your phone, um, that's perfectly OK. Um, this is just a, kind of a general one that, that um, after kind of testing out a few and a, and a few students have kind of recommended uh, with this one. This is kind of what we've been using for our standard. Um, but you don't have to do it. The big thing that you want to try to find in whatever editing program you're going to use is something called posterization. Um, posterization is where they really do break down how many colors are available um, because you don't want to over, overdo it. Like my recommendation between three and seven, and seven is, is really on the high end um, of things. Um, the more colors you have, the more realistic it looks. So if you want to have that, that's perfectly fine. Um, you know, but but just kind of keep that in mind that it'll be a little more uh, a little more tricky for you to do that. Um, so I'm going to kind of jump into this. Um, so right now we went to pixlr.com. There should be a link on that um, calendar directions page, and I'm just going to go down to Playful um, Pixlr X. Um, so I have a couple here I've been kind of toying around with. Um, there's also a fun one um, that you can upload like photos that you want to kind of even apply a filter, like another kind of filter, like a painterly filter to, um, to help you get an idea on how you could paint it, you know, in terms of like for like an independent or a choice project or something like that. Um, so that's my test. Um, but the way that you would normally do it is that you'd have the picture already sent to you. Um, so I could open the image. Um, I have it on my desktop because um, it is right here. Um, so however you want to access it, you want to bring it in. Um, so I grabbed this one. Um, I was going to try to use my senior tile, or my senior tile, my senior photo, um, but it's like, ugh, I don't want to go digging for it. So so I grabbed this guy um, instead. And what's fun about him is obviously his hair. Um, so when you decide on a kind of photo, have have fun with it, okay? Um, you know, bring your hands in if you want, have some sunglasses coming down, have a fun hat you might wear. Um, what or do your hair up, you know, somehow, um, or or whatever, you know. So so have some character to your piece, you know, when you when you decide to do this instead of just you staring at a at a at your at your phone and doing a selfie real quick just for a project. But but put some thought into it. So the big one that we're going to go to is if we hover over here, the the circle with the small dots is the filter, and on that, if I scroll down after clicking on it, is where we get the posterize. Now, right now, you can see posterize one, and then if I bring it up, two, three, four, and you can see it going on more and more, and then it has like 25 colors. Um, so the first step um, is that one. And right off the bat, you know, that that's okay. Um, but there there's a lot more things to you can mess around with before you hit posterize. Um, so I'm gonna cancel that out. Um, I'm gonna go up to adjust. And I'm going to play around with um, even like this black one right here because um, I'm adding more contrast in the in the photo. Um, so you want to be able to um, and contrast is right here, um, but black really does help with that as well. Uh, you want to be able to have bright whites, dark blacks. If your piece is a little washed out because you don't have those intense colors, posterization doesn't work as well. So you, you probably definitely want to play around with that. And you you got to do that first. You can't posterize and then do the contrast. It, it doesn't work that way. So I messed around with those two. I'm going to go back to the filter, go back to posterize, and then it changes it quite a bit. You know, and now I can see a little more of the definition of the eyes here. You know, I can look at this. Um, I can see things, you know, that are going on a little bit more. Um, I'm going to go up and just, and I'm going to go to um, hue. And on this one, you can play around with in terms of you trying to figure out, you know, what colors you might want to you want to do now these are for the most part um you know based on monochromatic you know they're all kind of the same color and just because you see it on here doesn't mean you have to do it um you need to put part of your own artistic ability into this piece um because especially around the eyes uh people have a tendency to when it was a photography or a drawing or a painting or whatever of a person or an animal we have a tendency to look at the eyes right away. Um, so, so you might have to adjust this. Um, you might have an eye that like, gosh, it doesn't look right. Well, you're the artist, so you can go in and change it. Um, and, and that's how you kind of take control over it, okay? Um, 
but I can I can play around with this. It's just see you know, real quickly. Is like, well, what if I did like a purplish tint? You know, what if I did you know that? Um, and you can get an idea of which one you'd actually want to do. Um, you can kind of play around with this other stuff. Uh, it doesn't help a tremendous amount. Um, it, it's it's more getting into using like that contrast. Like it's barely even it's not even really doing anything. Um, it's more about um, canceling this. I'm gonna hit Command Z, um, undoing. Go back to the original, you know, and go back here, you know, and play around with, you know, adding that that contrast um, and trying to get trying to get those things a lot more. I'm gonna see if brightness. So I'm really gonna see if I can pull this guy out um, a bit more. Um, I'm kind of curious on what it looks like here, but I'm also curious on what it looks all the way up here. Okay, got that. Go back to here, posterize. And I probably already kind of did it with all that exposure stuff, or I wasn't able to kind of pick that up. That's fine. Um, Command Z. This is the original again. Um, hit adjust. I still think that contrast helps out quite a bit. I can see his eyes a lot better. Now let's see if um, posterization works. So I can see part of that eye. And what you could do is this might this eye might be perfect, you know, is for you to kind of copy and paste that part of the image and then, you know, go back to the one, you know, that you really do like um, and but superimpose that eye on top of it when you actually start tracing it out. Okay, um, let's uh, Command Z that. I'm going to um, kind of leave everything alone. Um, just go back to the filter, which I already had up. Um, posterize, pull that back out right there. Um, and I'm going to screenshot. I think I can save this because um, you need to be able to get this onto, onto the thing. So I'm just going to get screenshot it. Once you have that, you know, go to your transparency or colored slide request. Um, and again, that should be on the um, directions calendar. Um, you know, go to a slide that's not taken already. You know, paste that down on top of there. Um, our class isn't so important. You know, names definitely important. You don't really have to add anything on here. You know, especially if we're kind of chatting a little bit back and forth. Um, but I, I need to have um, the way it's kind of worked out is that I want you to find, you know, three images that you that you like. You can toy around with them a little bit on this first. Um, and then so we can kind of talk about and, and try to make sure you get that A for the project, okay? Um, other than that, um, there's a lot of tools in here. Um, you can even kind of go into, um, that was a liquify, I think it was, no, it was this one right here, effect, um, where you can start playing around with things um, that just keep changing it little by little. Um, and you might find something that, that you they really like. So. Well, good luck on it. Um, sorry to me to take so long on that. And just, again, just let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.